hey, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes again today. Today, we're gonna start Speed Weeks on the channel. We're getting ready for the Daytona 500. And we're gonna start with Daytona USA for the Sega Saturn. Now, I know a lot of gamers aren't sports fans. Hey, that's cool, you like it or you don't. But uh, I live in North Carolina. We invented stock car racing. You have to be a fan or they will kick you out of North Carolina. <laughs> but no, I, I've always liked racing. It's just something I enjoy. Uh, grew up with it in my family. My dad raced a lot of local short tracks in North Carolina and Virginia for over 15 years. Pretty successful career starting what was then called street stocks, now mostly called pure stock. Made his way into limited late models, up to late models. Has championships at Caraway, Orange County, South Boston. Close to 100 wins, so, you know, pretty good. But never made it to the uh, the top levels or anything. Uh, but my, I had a great uncle named Buren Skeen who did make it to the top level. He raced in the late 50s, early 60s. Um, a lot of local dirt and asphalt tracks around here. Made a name for himself. Won a modified division championship at the legendary Bowman Gray Stadium. Uh, got hired by a strictly stock team, which is then the equivalent of what the Cup Series is today. I uh, made eight starts, one top five, two top tens. Uh, unfortunately, in the Southern 500 that year at Darlington, he was involved in a, a really bad crash and, and passed away from the injuries uh, a few days later. Now that is on YouTube if you want to find it. I'm not going to put it on here. Uh, the wreck itself doesn't look that bad. When they show, they actually have footage of them bringing the car back around the wrecker. And he, he spun, or was spun, coming off of two and ended up broadside in the track. And two or three cars coming, the first two split him, the third one did not hit him in the driver's side. When they show the footage of, of them bringing the car around the wrecker, it, it, it's... Uh, it's not good and they use that a lot in commercials uh, I've seen it several times for Chevrolet commercials NASCAR commercials I don't really like it but what can you do about it so we're gonna kick off speed weeks here on the channel with the Sega Saturn version of Daytona USA now this is a great game Gosh, everybody loved. This is one of the most successful arcade games of all time. Anybody can play this. You see this game sitting in an arcade somewhere, you know, it had the car you get in, it moved around. I don't care who you are, young or old, you wanted to play this. And that's why it was so successful. And it's an easy pick up and play arcade style racing game. By no means is it true to life. It's not our racing. By no means. But we're going to have some fun this week getting ready for the Daytona 500. So here we go, Daytona USA. The Sega Saturn. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Daytona track first. Arcade mode. So I read where they had, they designed this track by satellite imaging that, that they had gotten. And I hate to tell them, they were at the wrong damn track. This is nothing like Daytona. <laughs> but it's still pretty fun. Uh, I don't like how you have to change gears when you put it on manual. You hit up to go down a gear and down to go up a gear. 
You go to this turn, throw it up in third, and drift around. Yeah, you don't do that at Daytona. If, if you were going down the straightaway at Daytona and threw it up in third gear, it would be the most catastrophic engine failure of all time. <laughs> Whoa. Parts would land in the Gulf of Mexico <laughs> if you did that. typical arcade style here you're a lot faster than the other cars you just gotta keep it off the walls and off of them and should do all right a little easier said than done though it takes a little practice I need a steering wheel for this. Can I catch him? Last lap. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. First try. Caught him on the last lap there. key is that one turn. If you can get through that, you'll do pretty good. <laughs> the Saturn version here does not look as good as the arcade, sadly. Uh, the Dreamcast version looks pretty close, but the Saturn, of course, is along with the N64 and the PlayStation. They, it was those first consoles that were getting into the 3D style of gaming. And they just don't hold up as well because games are still made like that and they just look so much better today. When you see something like this, it's almost an eyesore compared to today's games. Man. This is going to be bad. <laughs> I will not finish this. 20 cars. I'll be lucky if I break the top 15 probably. I am not familiar with this track. Got change gears. That would help. <laughs> oh. bank turn. Hey, I did break the top 15. 
Well, for a minute. Yep, I'm out of time. I'm not going to try that again because it's not going to get any better. We'll do the other one. That's going to be even worse. <laughs> These two road courses are hard. Two laps. I'll be lucky to make the first one. The first track is definitely the funnest as far as just pick up and play. But these two here require some practice. Road courses are hard. They're going to require some practice. I don't know that I like it good enough <laughs> to practice enough to be good at those. If I'm being honest, if I had to grade this for the Saturn, it's a C. It's a decent game. It's the first track's okay. But compared to the arcade, it's just, it don't quite have it. The graphics are not quite there, the controls are not as easy. It's a lot funner with the steering wheel, with the game moving around with you. 
this one. It's okay. I'm glad I've got it. But I don't play it very much and it shows. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me for a few minutes today. Hope you're as excited about the Daytona 500 as I am. Can't wait to see it. And uh, I'll see you again next time.